Hey guys, I'm excited to share a really fun project that I did with my first graders recently. It's inspired by the artist Gustav Klimt, you know, from The Kiss. I absolutely love his work. And so he has a painting that he did of two cats and it like shows them from the back. It's a really sweet painting. Um, but we had fun using gold paint and silver and brass and all these other colors. I ordered from, um, trying to think the company, it was Blick from Dick Blick. Um, and they were just the student grade tempera paints, but they turned out um, to be a really amazing on black paper. And here is my result. And so today, if you would like to do this with your students, I will walk you through the process. Or if you just want to do this at home, um, you could apply anything. It wouldn't have to be a cat, but it's just really a fun technique with great results. So I'm going to go ahead and show you how to get started. All right, for your Klimt inspired cats, the supplies that you will need are black paper, a pencil to draw the cat with, tempera or acrylic paints. You'll need some colors um, later on when we do the second coat, and you'll also need some white um, in the beginning. And then you need metallic colors, and you'll see I've got mine ready to go because that's one of the beginning steps. And then of course you'll need paint brushes and water. And so now we are ready to begin by doing step one, which is drawing the outline of the cat. And if you do not have a cat at home to look at, you can look at pictures online, or you can type in on Pinterest or on Google how to draw a cat. And there's lots of little step-by-step -step, um, images that show you how to draw a cat, and you could easily use one of those. We wanna make sure when we draw the outline of the cat that we draw it large and use most of the space on our paper. So now I will go ahead and start on that. So now that I've finished drawing my cat, I'm ready for step two, which is drawing your background design. I don't have a lot of background area in mind, so I'm gonna keep mine kind of long and simple. Um, but if you have more space around your cat, you could of course get more creative with your background design. Okay, so now we're ready for step three. Outlining with white paint. I'm going to use thicker outlines around my cat so that it will stand out and then I'm going to use um, a smaller brush to create thin lines to outline the background design. Okay, so now I'm ready for step four and I'm gonna paint in with the metallic paints. When I paint in, I am gonna leave like a little bit of black showing around the white lines. It just kind of adds um, some more interest. Um, and I will probably use like some of my lighter metallics on the cat and then maybe some darker in the background because you still kind of want to create a little bit of contrast to where um, like the cat is a little bit different in its colors or color scheme than the background is. So now I'm gonna go ahead and paint in my metallics. Okay, so now I've finished painting my cat and I'm going to let it dry completely before I go on to the next step. Okay, so at this point, I am ready for step five, which is painting patterns on the cat or in the background. And this is the super fun part because you've kind of got everything laid out. You can just decide where you want um, little patterns of color. And Klimt used everything from rectangles and triangles to circles and flowers. And so you can incorporate it in your background pattern, in the tail of the cat, on the cat's body. You could add a collar. Um, so just have fun and be creative with adding color. Another thought is you could add some metallic paints, you know, like use the gold and make circles in there and tie in more metallics, or you want, might want to do color or both. So you can just be creative on this part and have fun with it. So now I'm going to go in and add some color. Okay, 
so you probably noticed that I went back and added some um, black around my white outlines because I had gotten the color really close um, and so I felt like it needed to be outlined more. So I went in and added some black where I thought it needed it and then just filled in kind of random patterns um, on the cat and in the background. And so now I am happy with it. I'm gonna leave some spots blank um, because I filled in what I liked. So here is the process in review for you. So if you need to remember the steps, they are all right here and you can pause your screen and it will walk you through right there. All right guys, I hope you had fun watching this video. I hope that you will create your own Gustav Klimt inspired artwork and use some gold and silver paint, incorporate some patterns and have some fun. I would always love for you to share your results with me and put your pictures of what you do in the comments. Please like and subscribe to my channel and stay tuned for lots more creative ideas and info. Thanks for watching.